Hello, Cultivate. Happy Thursday. I'm thinking about all of you. I want you to use this time for something positive and not dwell on the negative or things that are going wrong at this time. Don't do that, okay? Don't let what you can't do stop you from doing the things that you can do. Let's think about some things that we can do at this time. Well, one thing we can do is pray for others. When you pray for other people, then you takes whatever's going on with you, it takes you out of that because then you're focusing on somebody else. That's always a good thing. Spend time with God. Remember we talked about giving God a minimum of 48 minutes of our time. We can always increase that and do more, right? We can share a happy memory. I was talking to someone this morning and we were sharing a memory when both of our families went to Disneyland together. That was a happy memory that we got to share together. You can increase your faith. This is a great time for increasing your faith because we are focused on and we know that God's going to bring us through this um, and then that's how you increase your faith by knowing and stepping out and, and leaning on what you know that God's going to bring you through this time. We're going to look back on this time and say, remember when, and I knew God would get us through this time, right? Increasing your faith, spending time with God. We talked about that. That is, the more you're in your word, the more you know God, and the more your faith gets increased, okay? You can also organize something, organize some things. There's always something in your house that you can organize and do, right? Um, we've been organizing and cleaning and doing a lot of that, uh, rearranging things in our house. Start a new hobby or work on a hobby that you haven't had a chance to work on that you like to do. What are some hobbies that you can do? Well. Uh, sewing is a hobby you can do, crocheting, knitting, scrapbooking. I know a lot of people scrapbook. That's not something for me, but I know a lot of people that do it. Uh, gardening, that's something Mr. Gregory does. He loves gardening and he's been able to spend a lot of time in his garden and do a lot of things. So, stargazing. I have a grandson who really likes to stargaze. He has a telescope and so he's been looking at his stars, he's been reading things on the internet, uh, finding out a lot about stargazing. So, um, art. I have another grandson who likes doing art. He loves drawing things. He's really, really good at it. And during this time, he's actually improved his, his um, artwork and his drawing, you know. That's just some things you can do. I was just throwing some things out there. If that's not a hobby for you, think of another one, something else you can do. Shoot me some thoughts. Um, I'd love to correspond with you, all right? Now, I also want you guys to get ready for Sunday. This Sunday is going to be our first life group on Zoom. I am so excited about seeing you guys and spending time with you on Zoom. So, on uh, Sunday uh, morning, I'm going to send a link. I'm going to email and I'm also going to text it, whether you're going on your computer or you're going on your phone. Either way, I am so excited and looking forward to seeing you guys on Sunday and spending time with you in Life Group. So, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Love you, Cultivate. As always, keep me in your prayers because you're always in mine.